Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing um, an episode of Signed and Delivered. I know I haven't done one of these in a while, but that's because I haven't bought anything in a while. In the past week or so I have ordered from Change Checker and I have also ordered from um, eBay. So the first things that I'm going to show you today are my um, what I ordered from Change Checker. My grandmother asked me if um, I could order her some pages and inserts for her Change Checker album. So I saw it as a good opportunity to go and grab some more coins. This time I decided, because I was looking at um, my needs list, I decided to order some of the coins from this year. Um, because I actually haven't had any, um, apart from Brexit, Brexit <laughs> um, and my Strike Your Own that I got from the mint a few weeks ago so let's take a look at what i ordered the first one that i picked up was um the agatha christie two pound coin and i'm absolutely in love with this design i love it um i have decided that i actually need to sit and read an agatha christie book because the design has intrigued me as to what it's what it's based on and what it's all about Next up I have got the Mayflower £2 coin, which I got mainly because it would go quite nicely with my Mary Rose, um, but then I looked into my album and realised that I didn't have a Mary Rose. And then I bought two 50 50ps, I thought I'd do two each. Um, so this one is the Rosalind Franklin, I absolutely love the design. I don't know why, but it reminds me of the Big Bang Theory. I can't speak today. <laughs> um, and then I got a Hyliosaurus, because I think it's the last dinosaur that I need. I do have um, a Megalosaurus. I, that I actually won in the 50p coin valet from Change Checker. Um, but that's the only one I've actually won this year, which is a shame. Um, because I remember last year I did win quite a few. I went through a spell of winning every single one. Which is a shame. Because it does actually help. Um, especially for people like me who can't afford to go into Change Checker as often as others. Or the Royal Mint, in fact, to get their coins. So, the next thing that I got was, I, I would say, quite a steal. Um, I ordered um, a series of territory coins off of eBay for £8 um, and they were sold to me by someone called Mick who has actually subscribed to my channel um, because I sent them a message, I saw that they were auctioning some territory coins and I said to him look I'm not going to be able to win the auction um, because <laughs> I just never win auctions. Um, have you got like a, a duplicate set of the coins that you're selling um, that I can just buy immediately and he said he said oh which ones were you looking at so I sent him a, a picture that the coin circled and he said yep yeah, yep yeah, I've got some um, so yeah I'll put it on a buy it now and you can just grab them and I was like it was excellent thank you so much I really appreciate it blah 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 blah, blah. Um, and yeah, that's what we, that's what, this is what I've ended up with. So to start off with is a five pence from the Isle of Man. It's the golf one. I don't know the technical names, so please bear with me. And I've also got another one, which I'd like to do some more research into. It is another five pence, but I don't know what it's for. I'm not quite sure. The magnifier does help sometimes, but unfortunately with things like five pences, it's a little bit hit and miss. But it says, I think it says something like Galt's Cross Kakvik? Kak I'm not sure. But if you know what that means, please let me know. <laughs> I did have a look at these on the day, but it was my mum's birthday when they arrived, so I was a little bit um, otherwise engaged. And then stupidly I put them in my album, forgetting that I needed to use them for a video. The next one is the bird. Or a five pence. And this is like the bird of the Isle of Man or something. They've also got it on a penny, I think. Or a two pence. 
Um, next up, I have got a Santon War Memorial Penny, which I think is just stunning. It's in really good condition. And it's from 2014, that's why. <laughs> it's lovely, I really like it. Next up, we've got the um, Manx Church. And that's also a penny from the Isle of Man. Another one that I quite like. And last one is Jersey. I think that's quite nice as well. It's a little less quality, but I think that's just because it's older. So next up we've got some 20 pences. Uh, that one's Jersey. This one is Guernsey. I've never seen this one before, so I was quite made up. I really like that one. I can't wait to start researching it. And then I've got some 10 pences. We've got some um, Guernsey tomatoes. Or tomatoes, as Christopher says, but obviously it's tomatoes. And then we've got... I can't remember what this one is. I actually have one of these somewhere. Let's have a look. It's the Euro Port in Gibraltar. And you can see it says there, it says Euro then Port. So another very cool one. And then I did get a Manx cat. This one is actually from 2019, so it's very, 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 oops, very, very, very shiny. And I really like it. It's better quality than the one I already have, so I'll probably replace the other one. How shiny is that? Look. Hmm. I love it. Can't beat a Manx cat, can you? Then we would get then I was given some two pences. And we've got this one, which is two men cycling, and I have a feeling it's might have something to do with the TT races, but I'm not entirely sure. And then we've got this one, which I think is stunning. Again, it's the Isle of Man, but let's have a look at the inscription. It says Lan Nun, and I think it might have something to do with the penny that's got all of the different tools on it. But I'm not entirely sure, so don't quote me on that. <laughs> um, and then I was given another one of those. And then lastly, I was given one of these, and I've never seen one of these before, but it's in brilliant quality. So let's have a look at the inscription. It's called the Alert Tower, so obviously it's it must be like a... Well, it is, it's an alert tower, isn't it? <laughs> but I love it. Absolutely stunning coin. And then we've got two left. One of them is a pound coin. And it's from Gibraltar, and it's the one, it's the discovery of a skeleton. Um, let's have a look at the inscription. Discovery of a Neanderthal skull in Gibraltar in 1848. So there you go. Again, absolutely stunning. I really like... Um, I know that they won't be using them for much longer, but I really like that the territories still use round pounds. Because it feels like it's like you can still find, there's, there's still more to find even though we don't have any ourselves. And then my favourite one is my second ever territory two pound coin. 
so I am so 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 happy to have this honestly I love it so there you go that is everything that I got off of the internet this week <laughs> um, I probably shouldn't be buying things off of the internet um, at the pace that I have been doing but hopefully I'll be coming back to you um, in the next couple of weeks with what I received from the Royal Mint and Westminster collection with regards to um, the new Winnie the Pooh coin which I'm so 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 excited to receive. Um, if you enjoyed this video definitely give it a like, a comment and a if, if you haven't already a subscribe. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter um, and I also have a Discord server but we don't really use that. <laughs> Um, but it does notify you when I have a new video up, which is a, a new feature that I sat and worked out a few nights ago. So, as always, please, please come back for more and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!